Well, Dermot Brereton may feel the heat from his self-produced media spotlight, but even he would feel for the Dermy of British soccer, Paul Gascoigne. Gazza, as usual, has been the focus of much debate as he enters his second season with the Italian team Lazio. But the main causes have been the length of his hair and the size of his stomach. The Gascoigne metabolism may be feeling the effects of pre-season training. The sense of humour, though, still seems intact. Coach Dino Zoff has his wish for shorter hair extensions, but the real issue is waistline, not hairline. For Lazio's fanatical fans on constant watch, Gascoigne's infamous refueling appears now no more than another moment for slapstick. The message may be getting through. The Gascoigne floor show features a man who's clearly shed pounds in Rome's open-air sauna. It may hurt, but Gascoigne is going through one of his serious periods. The player himself responds sparingly to inquiries about his readiness for England's vital match with Poland. How did you manage to lose your weight? You're looking very fit today. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel? No, I feel okay. Would you like to play against Poland? Uh, who wouldn't? <laughs> Gascoigne inspires a natural affection amongst most fans. Yes, he was fat, but now he's slimmer, says this man, as thin as an anchovy, according to this man. Last night was Lazio's final pre-season friendly against Inter Milan. Graham Taylor and assistant Laurie McMenemy watched again, but would not comment either on his potential as England's penalty taker or on the moment late in the game when he produced something to genuinely admire. It was hardly the action of a man struggling for fitness, nor was the result the strike of a man who's lost his touch. Still on soccer, and soccer coach Eddie Thompson is in South America to assess Australia's luck.